Nelson Rockefeller. Yes, Nelson. Mr. President, you, I don't have to say anything about our problems here in New York as you know about them. I am taking every step I can with state authority to help uh, the little businessmen and the individuals who are really up against it because they're losing the business. And the little fella can't do anything uh, if he doesn't get in cash, and a lot of them are going bankrupt. And an awful lot of people are uh, not getting paid, even though his honor, the mayor, asked him to uh, pay him. So I would like to send you a wire, but I wanted to speak to you first. And in the wire, I would outline the steps we're taking in the state. And then I would say, in view of this major catastrophe, I request you, Mr. President, that you declare New York City a major disaster area, and that you take all necessary steps to make available to individuals and small business federal assistance, including low interest loans to small business by the Small Business Administration, to guarantee of outstanding loans to veterans on both homes and businesses by the Veteran Administration, and three, highest priorities to loans to individuals and small businessmen in New York City by the Office of Economic Opportunity. Uh, Nelson, I think that what we ought to do is let me have the people who handle that to get back in touch with you and review what you want to send, because it'll sure get out. And when it does, uh, uh, it, uh, it'll create a problem for us if we're not able to meet it. It'll hold out hope uh, that uh, we may not be able to meet it. It'd be like my sending you a wire and saying, now, Governor, I wish you'd get off your ass and do something about your situation up in New York City and don't let these things happen. Uh, let me get our best man to call you after we get a small business, see if they have any uh, possibilities of doing it. I would question that when we have a strike for a week that uh, we can uh, uh, write a new rule because if we did, we'd had it out in Illinois last week and we'd have it some other place tomorrow. But we want to help any way and every way we can. But I don't know that uh, uh, we ought to uh, uh, do it by wire back and forth. Let me get to our best person. I'm sitting here now in the security meeting, and I, I just they just buzzed me, and I knew nothing about the nature of the call or what it's about. I want to answer it as quickly as I can. Let me get my best person, and I'll have them call you uh, uh, as soon as the lunch hour is over with and see what facilities we have here. Uh, that would be available without legislation, which uh, we we don't have. The Congress is not here, and uh, 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 then then have a kind of a uh, understanding of what we can do without getting up people's hopes. And uh, you're recommending something that would make you look bad uh, if uh, if, it, uh, if nothing existed for it. Well, uh, I understand that what you're saying. Uh, we have researched uh, your federal laws naturally very carefully before securing I haven't, though, and I'm oh, going to be the one that has to make the decision. Yeah. And uh, you, you, uh, my own impression is there's no funds in the small business. My own impression is that they're exhausted. Uh, and I don't know whether your research shows that or not, does no, it? that does not show, okay. although I assume that uh, emergency funds could be used. No, no, we don't. Purpose. No, I think that they, I think we have to wait until the, the Congress gets back in and they go through the, uh, th uh, through the uh, uh, appropriation channels of the House and the Senate and their hearings. I think the uh, New Orleans thing uh, was an unexpected emergency of such huge proportions. And they, they had to have legislation, and uh, I think the funds are pretty well depleted. But as you know, I'm not an uh, expert on these individual uh, veterans loans and small business loans and just the extent of how much we have in each pocket. But I will if you'll give me a, uh, if I don't just have to act here five minutes after one, within the hour I'll have somebody going into it, and I'll get back to you this afternoon. Uh, well, now let me just make one more point on this. Uh, we have got uh, a situation, you probably got a report from Willard Wirtz already. I got a thorough one from him. I've had it every morning and every afternoon. And as you know then, as a result of that, that at this moment there is no uh, break in the clouds anywhere. Now, unless Willard's got something that uh, I don't know about. Well, I think they had some things that they were uh, that they, they, they were uncertain about what would come. They had some plans, but uh, they're they're in the process of uh, 
uh, being uh, discussed and evaluated, and uh, he made a report to me, I guess, at 11 o'clock. Yeah. And uh, uh, the, uh, they, they have some... Uh, uh, they have some plans and uh, uh, they have some questions as to procedures they'd like to get inaugurated and it's conceivable, could be agreed upon. And if they got those procedures, why, uh, that would give us a little uh, a time. Yeah, the problem uh, we face is with no really clear evidence of uh, the course leading to a solution that we are facing the people, and it's not just the 8 million in the city, there's about 16 million people involved, and this thing is a very, well, I don't know, I'm not telling you because you know it, but it's extremely serious as far as what's happening. And uh, there are well, a lot of people who are beginning to get very upset, uh, little people who are uh, innocent victims of a big situation that's unfolding. I, I quite agree with that, and it's been distressing and disturbing to me uh, every moment, and there hadn't been a day, and I haven't had an oral report and a written report. Right. And uh, when the mayor, uh, uh, we have said to the mayor, uh, I don't need to review all that, sure. uh, but uh, uh, we have said to him that uh, we would do this, that, A, B, C, D, E. He goes back to his panel, he calls back and says, I don't think this ought to be done now. The panel doesn't agree with it. So. Uh, we said whenever you're ready, whenever anything we can do, whatever resources we have that uh, might be helpful to you in reaching agreement, we'll do it. So he called me at 6.15 yesterday, said that he would like to discuss some of the strategy involved with the uh, uh, Secretary of Labor. And I said, well, he will be asked to leave within the hour. He caught a 7 o'clock plane. He went up. Uh, they did go into it uh, late in the evening. Uh, I think before he left, they had made some arrangements about uh, 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 the, uh, some of the parties and getting them available for the conference and things of that kind, and out of jail and so forth. And uh, uh, Wirtz tells me that uh, they, uh, they carefully uh, explored uh, various uh, uh, possibilities, and one of them is uh, uh, on, in the motion today. Now, what uh, what comes from it, uh, I don't know. But anyway, the, the mayor is uh, is carrying it out as he thinks it ought to be. And uh, uh, I want to give him any uh, assistance that we have here, and I want to give you any. But I don't want to uh, be exchanging wires on front pages of the papers when there's not uh, when there's not any hope. And I sure don't want you to. Uh, move a, a situation in here that we can that can be better handled by the uh, uh, responsible and uh, selected and elected officials there. Uh, we want to cooperate with him every way in the world we can, but I don't want to, uh, uh, as a as a uh, kind of a conservative, uh, moderate uh, Democrat. I believe in your Republican principles of states' rights and local self-government a little bit, and I want to cooperate with them and supplement them and not supplant them. Well, that is exactly why I called you instead of wiring you. No. Uh, first, That's what, and I'll get my people busy and we'll right. get back in touch with you. And we will take all the steps we can uh, at a state level. And you know of all the governors, there's none that have uh, got criticized more for doing things. And uh, there's a certain senator from this state uh, who keeps criticizing me for not getting enough money out of the federal government. <laughs> Well, so that, well, don't get me. <laughs> don't you think I've got enough problems with Vietnam <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without getting in your New York personalities? But what I will do is this. Yeah. I'll get our people, see what it is that we might do, and I'll have works or somebody get back to you within the afternoon, and we'll keep it absolutely under the cover so we don't build up people's false hopes and make them think it's Sandy's down here that can take care of these things with these things. But we'll let you know what can be done and uh, then we'll uh, we'll uh, decide who who our people ought to meet with uh, to do it. Yeah, what I what, if I could uh, give whoever you uh, designate to this, if I could give them some thoughts on the phone, uh, 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 that it, it would be uh, very uh, helpful because uh, I can point to the areas that we've explored that might be uh, useful. That'll be good. I'll do that, and I'll have somebody call you this afternoon. Wonderful. Uh, okay. My, my best happy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, same to Mrs. Johnson. Thank you a lot. Okay. Bye. bye.